Hi, my name is Ed Rudiger and I'm pastor of Sligo Presbyterian Church. Now, Sligo, Pennsylvania is a little bitty town about 10 miles south of Clarion, right off of Interstate 80. And I am delighted that you're listening to this devotion. Now, it's based on a, a passage from the Gospel according to Matthew, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 17th verse. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watch Satan fall from the heaven like a, like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At the same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such is your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. And here's a devotion that I entitled, A Lucky Guy. I wouldn't consider myself a particularly lucky guy. I mean, outside of winning a transistor radio on the Bungle Show back in 1966, I really haven't won anything. I'm not very good at cards. I seldom hit, seem to hit the green lights when I'm driving through Pittsburgh. And I've never even seen a, a scratch-off worth noting. Although I've known plenty of people who could make a comfortable living on 50-50 raffles, that's certainly not me. But having said that, there's one aspect of my life in which I am extremely fortunate. And I'm talking about my relationship with God. I mean, based on nothing I've done myself, he chose to love me before he laid the foundation of the universe. And even though I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, he opened my eyes and my mind so that I could see and understand the enormous love he's shown me through Jesus Christ. And with all my limitations, God can still use me to do his work and to share his love. From him, I've received peace and hope and direction. And for that reason, despite my experience with, with traffic signals and lottery tickets, I really am a lucky guy. I'm in. Now again, thanks for listening to this little devotion. I hope you found it meaningful. Of course, if you're close to Sligo, Pennsylvania, like I said, about 10 miles south of Clarion, uh, come on by and worship with us. We worship on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Or if you're around here on Wednesday morning about 10.30, come and uh, join us in a Bible study. I think you'll, you'll find it meaningful. And so until I have the opportunity to talk with you again, I want you to remember, you, my friend, you are a child of God. And God loves you very much. Goodbye for now.